I did was I took a shim and I laid it on the curve and I marked where it's going to fit into the top. Oh, sorry. And this is my angle of the wedge. Okay. This line represents the bottom of the wedge because it's tapered. And from that, I cut one out of pine with the track saw. And I've, I've, I'll show you where that, so that, that just slides in and is tight. Now I checked how it is. There's variation on all of them. And uh, I'll show you how much variation there is. You can see that I've marked the top of the casting on that location. But if I stick here, that's tight. And you can see the range that that, you know, and there's, see, there's a little bit of play. And so these have to be hand plane fitted.